Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Very nice. Nice to see you guys again. All right, guys, good evening. Nice to see you all again. Rosalina, hello. Carlos Mauricio, Maylin, Xiomara, Chavez, Caro, of course, Gabriel, Kenya. All right, we also have Ivania, Carla Lisset, Carlos Eduardo, Luis Abrego, Edwin. All right, and we have Pretty much everybody else is here. Very good. Good evening, guys. How's everybody today? Everybody okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. Sure. All right. Como van las lluvias por sus casas? Todo bien? Yeah. Tranquilo? It's raining now. Raining. Yeah, me too. 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 Me Aquí en la zona costera de San Luis, Talpa para adelante. Ok, all right. Cuando al puerto de la libertad. Ok. Pero todo tranquilo por su casa. Pues ahorita, pues sí, lloviendo fuerte, pero ahorita bien, ya estamos, estamos bien. Ok, eso es, eso es bueno. Gracias a Dios. Very good. Hay que mantenerse safe. Ok, very good. Yeah. ¿Alguien más que esté por esos lados? La zona costera, ¿no? No. Ok. All right. Very good. Pero igual, ¿verdad? No deja de llover. Parece que vamos a seguir con, con las lluvias un par de días más. So let's, let's be careful. All right. Very good, guys. Bueno, no los veo desde el jueves. <laughs> All right. Los que tuvieron vacación, I hope you enjoyed it. Y los que no, I'm sorry. All right. But you are here. All right. Very nice. So, uh, officially today, today we're going to finish unit one. Okay, so oficialmente la terminamos hoy. All right, so that's very good. But before we um, continue, we're going to review the be going to. Okay, remember that be going to, we said that we use it to express future. Okay, so I can say, for example, it will rain tomorrow, pero a esta altura, como están las cosas, no decimos it will rain tomorrow, porque no es algo que yo diga, Tal vez llueva mañana. It's going to rain tomorrow. All right. Así como estamos, pareciera que igual estamos como en la rainy season. Por lo tanto, es como temporal por las tormentas tropicales, tal cual, o whatever it is. Entonces decimos, it is going to rain tomorrow. All right. La posibilidad de lluvia es bien grande. Entonces, it's future, pero con be going to. Okay. 
Now, that's what we have to say for that. A ver, um, Willy. Pensemos en algo, Willy, que usted está seguro. All right, tal vez no el 100%, pero más de un 90, Willy, ¿ok? Que es usted hará o que sucederá o que su familia hará this week o en el fin de semana. Can you think of Willy pensando y todos los demás igual? A ver, Willy, can you tell me a sentence using be going to, all right, about anything about you? Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, with meeting on Saturday mm -hmm. and celebration or holiday, no sé cómo se dice, holiday or yeah, celebration. Holiday. Oh, holiday. O sea, celebración. Holiday. Una cosa de holiday es como el, 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 el asueto. Ya. Yeah. Uh, pues celebration. Okay. Uh, the birthday with my family. Oh, and whose birthday, Willie? Your birthday? No, no, no. It's another, another family. Okay, another family member. Okay, so you're going to celebrate. Yeah. Ah, In, okay. Right, and Saturday you're afternoon. Ah, very good. So you are celebrating a birthday on Saturday afternoon. All right. So, yeah. in otras palabras, diríamos, I am, or we are, in el caso de we as como mi familia, we are celebrating uh, a birthday occasion. All right. On Saturday afternoon. Ya está planificado. Es casi que un hecho. Todos van a llegar esperando que la lluvia no se interponga en el plan. Pero you say we're going to celebrate on Saturday. Simple, ¿verdad? We yeah. are going to celebrate. Excellent. Very nice. Let's see. Uh, what about Maylene? Todos pensando en algo que sucederá, que ustedes ya tienen planeado y estamos usando el we are, el I am, o we are, or you are en el caso, pero que está seguro casi un 100% that is going to happen. Yes, Maylene. Yes, uh, we are going to return the dog to my sister. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. That's for sure, Mainly. No se lo va a tener un día más. <laughs> no, no more. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. What about um, Karen, Beatriz? Can you tell me a sentence using be going to? I'm going to... Visit my family on weekend. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Perfect. Very nice. Luis Abrego, can you tell me a sentence you seem to be going to? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, we are going to go for a walk on the weekend. Oh, you guys are going to go for a walk on the weekend. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you. Gabriel, can you tell me one activity you seem to be going to? Uh, I am going to Ruiz this week, weekend. Oh, nice. You're going to rest this weekend. All right. Okay. Very good. Nice. Let's see. Carlos Mauricio. What about you, Carlos? Can you tell me an activity you seem to be going to? I'm going to play soccer on Sunday. Oh, okay. On Sunday. Okay, very nice. Yes, very good. Let's see. What about Kenya? Kenya, tell me a sentence you seem to be going to. Okay, Kenya. Si gusta, lo puede escribir por ahí en el chat. Okay. What about Caro? Caro, tell me a sentence and then Yvette, please. We're going to? Yes. Be going to. Okay. My family and I are going to go to El Lomo y la Aguja for my birthday. Oh, very nice, Caro. All right, very good. When is your birthday, Caro? Uh, July is 17. Okay. This is an indirect for my husband that is right here. <laughs> He's listening to you. <laughs> All right, very good, Caro. That's a nice strategy you have. Very good, thank you. All right, Yvette, what about your sentence, Yvette? Okay, uh, my brother are going to in the hospital uh, my brother one brother or two brothers Yvette one bro okay. one brother okay. so my brother is my brother is, is oh, okay 
go to the hospital or visit the hospital or be in the hospital? Mm. Va ir, va estar, va llegar. Ir. Okay, so my brother is going to go to the hospital. Okay, very oh, nice. Okay. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, great. Xiomara, another sentence, please. We are going to eat pupusas on weekends. Ah, nice. That's delicious. Very good. Let's see, Veronica, in your case, one sentence. Um, we are going to Sonsonate on Friday. You are going to go to Sonsonate. Um, okay, yeah, you're going to go or you're going to visit. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Okay, so as a summary, when we use we are, I mean, be going to, no nos confundamos solo con el continuo, ¿verdad? Una cosa es decir, I'm going, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, y otra cosa es decir, I'm going to play. All right, entonces, cuando usamos el be going to, I'm going to share my screen with you right now. Guys, right here. Here, remember, this is the structure here, be, Plus going to, plus verb, plus complement. That is the structure. This is the structure for affirmative sentences. Okay. This is a, oops, affirmative sentences. Si usted quiere hacer una oración afirmativa usando el be going to, lo hace de esa forma. Be plus going to. Plus verb, necesito un verbo acá. All right, ahora, obviamente, bueno, y si quiere lo vamos a arreglar acá, le voy a poner subject. All right, subject, ya sea he, we, they, my family, and I, my husband, my daughter, my dogs, whatever, my computer, whatever it is. All right, De, obviamente del subject depende el be que voy a usar. Si yo digo, my, um, yeah, my friends. Uy, my friends and I. ¿Qué tuve ocupo, Xiomara? My friends and I. ¿Qué tuve me corresponde? My friends and I. Um, ¿Segura? Are. <laughs> are. Eh, perdón, am or are? Am. Um. Ok, Xiomara, are you sure? ¿Estás segurísima, Xiomara? ¿Que usamos el AM? Eh... Si usted dice my friends and I, ¿qué, su ¿qué pronombre le puedo poner o qué sujeto? Are. Si sí, sería AR porque estamos hablando más de dos personas. Entonces, y, y, are. Exacto, y estoy incluida yo en este caso, right? My friends sí. and I, o sea, we. All right, we are uh -huh, going to what? What are we going to do? Xiomara, regale mi otro verbo. To walk. Okay. My, ah, uh, my goodness. Yeah, my friends and I are going to walk. At uh, the park. Uh -huh. At the park. Okay, at the park. Very good. My friends and I are going to walk at the park. Ojo. En lugar de decir my friends and I, yo puedo decir we are going to, lo que estábamos escribiendo ahí, we are, y luego el going to walk at the park. All right. Yo puedo poner nombre o pronombre y la estructura es igual. All right. Yes. Now, these are affirmative sentences. Okay. A ver, Carlos Mauricio, ayúdeme. Y necesito hacer la estructura para una oración negativa usando el, el be going to. ¿Cómo sería, Carlos? I am not going to. Ajá, very good. Entonces, para empezar, necesito el subject. Luego sería el be. Not. O el not, not. no solo, Carlos. Subject, uh -huh. be in not. Ah, very good. Okay. So, uh, she is not, uh-huh. And then going to, 
the verb plus the complement, right? Okay, so that is a negative sentence. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda dándome un ejemplo con un negative sentence? Siguiendo esa estructura, please. Someone to give me an example, a negative example? Maybe Gabriel or Ivania or Edwin, Willie, I need help. Wilfredo, any sentence using this structure? I want an example. I need an example. Good evening, teacher. Yes, Wilfredo. Uh, uh, we are not going to walk at the park. Okay. Y si hacemos una diferente, ya no usamos la misma, sino que pensamos en otra, Wilfredo. Uh, Otro sujeto. Otro... Ajá. Uh -huh. They are. Ajá. Uh -huh. Going to. They're not. They're not. They're not. Going to. Eat. In the morning. They're not going to eat in the morning. Okay, they're not going to eat in the morning. Se van muy temprano. All right, very good. Okay, so here, oops. So here we say they are not going to eat in the morning. Perfect, okay. They are not going to eat in the morning. Necesitamos ese sujeto, necesitamos el verbo be que le corresponde, el not because it's negative, eh, going to, of course, y luego va otro verbo, el verbo principal, por decirlo así, el que tenemos que poner en futuro o el que futurizamos. In this case, is it. All right, very good. Okay. A ver, Rosalina, I need now, Rosalina, the structure for questions. <laughs> okay. Mm. B. Plus. Plus subject. Excellent. Plus um, going to. Uh -huh. Plus verb. Uh -huh. Plus complement. Okay. Algo más después del complement? A question mark. Excellent. Very good. So that is a question. Yeah. All right. Very good. A ver. Um, Help me with an example. Thank you, Rosalina. Excellent. Okay. Help me with an example. Um, maybe, I don't know, Chavez or Carla or Kenya, Carlos Eduardo, anybody that can help me, please. Following the structure, give me a question. Okay, teacher. Uh, question. Yes, please. Okay. Let me check the, the structure. Oh, yes, go ahead. Uh, for example, uh, they they going to eat pizza tomorrow. Eso es lo que me acaba de decir, Charles. All right. Sí, pero... Ajá, pero lo hice mal porque el principio sería este, por ejemplo, uh -huh. sería are they, ¿verdad? Excellent, very good. Are they? Ajá, continúe. Are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? Excellent. Are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? Very good. Okay. All right, y borramos esta de abajo, okay? Esa nada más era para tenerlo claro, ¿verdad, Chávez? Very good. Are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? Are they? Going to eat pizza tomorrow. Si se fija, estamos cumpliendo con todos los pasos. All right. From the structure to make questions. Now, viéndolo así, we have affirmative, negative, and questions. Do you have questions about this? Yes, Kenya. Teacher, are you going to shoot on Sunday? Okay, tell me again. Are you going to? Uh -huh. 
On Sunday. Are you going to go to church? Church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, are you going to go to church on Sunday? Uh, no, I'm not going to go to church on Sunday. All right. Okay. Very good. Yes, and that's the right question. Very good. Alguien más me levantó la manita por aquí. Teacher. Yes. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, Luis. Las, ¿De qué manera se, se, se pueden responder las, las ah, preguntas? A esta? Gente, Luis. Muy bien. A ver. Ayúdeme usted, Luis. A ver, yo le digo, are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? All right. ¿Cómo, cuál, eh, ¿Cuál sería su idea, Luis? Si yo le digo, Luis, eh, are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? In the mo I mean, are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? Uh -huh. Pues yo respondiera, yes, they are going to eat pizza tomorrow. O yes, they are going to Yeah, esa está perfecta, Luis. Yes, they're sí, going solo, to eat pizza tomorrow. Uh -huh. Solo que digamos que si no la quisiéramos poner toda la, la respuesta larga, puedo hacer una corta. Exacto, ¿y cuál sería, Luis? Yes, they are. Excelente. Yes, y oh. se acabó el cuento. <laughs> All right. Ah. Yes, are they going to eat pizza sí. tomorrow? Yes, they're going to eat pizza tomorrow. Yes, they are. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Entonces, esta primera, Luis, que usted misma, mismo me dio, perdón, a eso le llamamos long answer. ¿Verdad? Porque es una respuesta larga. Respuesta larga. Long mm -hmm. answer. Y la otra, que es la más rápida, short answer. Ahora, más corta de esta short answer no se puede, Luis. All right. Yo, ah, okay. yo no puedo venir a decirle, Luis, are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? Y su respuesta es yes. Es, uh -huh. o usted está molesto, o me es así como que, que, re, que pregunta, así como que mmm, no tiene mucho sentido su pregunta, porque obviamente ya sabe la respuesta. Entonces me hace uh -huh. sentir a mí incómoda. Are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? Yes. No. Yes, they are. All right. Es, es la forma corta de decir sí. All right. Okay. 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 Ahora, si usted okay. me dice no, Puede ser, are they going to eat pizza tomorrow? No, they're not going to eat pizza tomorrow. O me puede decir, no, they are not, que sería la corta. O me puede decir, no. Pausa y me da una explicación. O me dice, no, because they are leaving early tomorrow. All right. O no, because they don't like pizza. O no, they don't like pizza. Entonces, no solo me deja con el no en seco, sino que me dice no y me da otra razón. O me da una... O me da una respuesta. ¿Sí me entiende? Pero sí. no solo me deja con el no. All right. Ok. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Thank mm -hmm. you, Luis. Everybody, any, anybody else has a question about this? All right. Los voy a dejar pensar un ratito acá. Voy a eh, mi asistencia ahorita. Y luego seguimos with some exercises. Piensen ahí, revisen ahí. If you have any questions, please. Just give me one second. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrios. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmo. <coughs> Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present teacher. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez, thank you. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Present. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Ivania Present teacher. Thank you. Ivania Jamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Fredo Arevalo Ortiz. Thank you. Present teacher. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez. Mailing Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. 
Present teacher. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Carlos Josué Chávez. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present. Thank you. Uh, Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you guys. Very good. All right. Questions then? Any questions? So we're fine. No sí, questions. Sí. Yes. Una consulta. Eh, yes. Los verbos siempre mantienen su, fo su forma base, ¿verdad? Todos, Estefani. Siempre, 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 con cualquier sujeto. Digamos que acá lo único que va a cambiar es el verbo be, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Am, is, or are. El going to se mantiene para todos. De igual forma, el verbo que va después del to se mantiene para todos en su forma base. Ahí el único cambio, Stephanie, es el is, am, um, or are. Nada más. Very okay, good. Thank yes, you. excellent. I see. Así para afirmativo, negativo, pregunta. Very good. Anybody else? No? Okay. Very good, guys. Excellent. A ver. Solo recuérdeme, eh, terminamos el ejercicio 5 de la página 16. No? Sí? Revisen ahí, sí. por favor. Sí, lo terminamos, teacher. Lo logramos hacer, así que yo dije, hagámoslo ahorita y luego cualquier duda lo hacemos después. Algo así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así okay. es. All right, ok. Revisen ese ahí ahorita, si les quedó duda, de hecho, de ese ejercicio. Revisen sus respuestas ahí. En lo que yo busco aquí mi, um, mi ejercicio. questions? Excuse me. Yes. And the number three, uh -huh. uh, the correct answer is, no question is, when is the new material going to arrive or when is going to arrive the new material? Ah, ese nos quedaba, ¿verdad? Es cierto. Yeah. Eh, a ver, ahorita se lo muestro. Sí, ahorita voy. Vamos a ver. Voy a ver mi pantalla. Can you guys see my screen? No, right now no. 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 A ver. Okay. Okay. Hoy sí. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, when is the new material going to arrive? A ver. Uh, when is the new material going to arrive? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so when tenemos a WH question acá, que es la que se antepone, ¿cierto, Nina? Yeah. Bueno, then seguimos según la estructura que estábamos viendo, es el is, porque es pregunta. Después mm -hmm. del is, Nina, va a ir un, eh, un sujeto. En este caso, ese sujeto o ese nombre o pronombre tiene un nombre. The new material. All right. okay. Ahora, okay. usted puede, por decir acá, vamos a ver si puedo hacer esto aquí. Acá podemos poner, eso es lo que vamos a hacer, miren. Todo esto, the new material, lo puedo yo condensar o hacer más corto y decir it. When is it going to arrive? Si hay un contexto okay. previo, si usted y yo ya estábamos hablando del nuevo material, entonces uh -huh. de repente le digo, Nina, when is it going to arrive? ¿El qué? El nuevo material del que estábamos, acabábamos de hablar, ¿verdad? Ahora, si no hay ningún contexto previo, yo solo le di, llego a su oficina y le digo, Nina, when is it going to arrive? Usted se me queda viendo así, ¿de qué me habla? What is talking about, yeah. Ajá, what are you talking about? ¿De qué, ¿Qué es it? ¿Verdad? Un carro, una computadora, un equipo, el nuevo material. ¿De qué me está hablando? All right. Por eso es necesario el identificar. En este caso, ocupo un nombre. The new material. Pero uh -huh. si usted y yo estamos hablando, sí, que el nuevo material va a estar bonito y nos va a ayudar para los juegos del otro año, bla, 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 bla. 
y de repente me dice usted, teacher, ¿y cuándo va a llegar el qué? El nuevo material, porque hay, una, hay un contexto previo, ¿me entiende? Okay. Entonces, ya, ya, ya le digo, when is it going to arrive? Se me dice, ah, next Monday. Yo le digo, hey, nice. We're going to have it soon, bla, bla, bla. All right, entonces, the new material puede ser reemplazado por el pronombre it. ¿Verdad? Entonces, tenemos que identificar cuál sería el sujeto dentro de la pregunta para poderlo poner en el orden adecuado. ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí vamos. WH plus verbo to be plus subject. ¿Verdad? Que en este caso the new, sería the new material plus going to plus el verbo, que en este caso es arrive, plus complement. Pero en este caso se cierra ahí. ¿Verdad? When is the new material going to arrive? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, Nina. Yes, thank you, teacher. Yes, very I'm nice. I'm going to send right now. Excellent, very good. A ver, everybody else is okay with this. Miremos la primera. Re, eh, re, regálenme la respuesta de la primera. ¿Cómo nos había quedado? Solo hicimos las, solo ordenamos las, las questions, teacher, no, no respondimos. Ah, sí, sí, perdón, a eso me refiero. Regáleme cómo nos quedó ordenado la pregunta de la primera. Ok, where are they going to pick up of the package? Where are they going to pick up the package, verdad? All right, where are they going to pick up the package? Ahí tenemos they, where... Okay. Are they? ¿Quién puede ser they? Gabriel y Stephanie, Luis y Carlos, mis compañeros, mis hijos, mi esposo y mi suegro. O sea, they puede ser anybody. All right. Entonces podemos poner nombre o pronombre, pero la regla sigue igual. La estructura es la misma. Ok. All right. Very good. Ok. So here we have. Eh, nos quedaba entonces number one where are they going to pick up the package hoy sí pensemos en las respuestas creo que no hicimos las respuestas la vez pasada All right, so let's think about the answers right now les doy eh, no sé uno o dos minutitos para que vayan contestando cada pregunta van a tener diferentes respuestas pero I just want to hear your answers de acuerdo ok teacher alright let's work on that right now For number one, nos quedaba, where are they going to pick up the package? For number two, who is going to receive the shipping? Uh -huh. And number three, when is the new material going to arrive? Contestenlas ahí. Voy a dejar de compartir un ratito. Ustedes igual tienen su libro ahí. All right, let's see. Edwin, can you can you um, give me the answer for question number one, Edwin? Where 
Sorry, teacher. Todavía no la, okay, no la formula. Okay. No se preocupe. All right, let's see. Um, what about... Um, teacher. Yes, Carlos. Number one. Yes. Were they going to the pick up the package? Y la respuesta... They are going to pick up the package at gas station. At the gas station. Very good. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Excellent, Carlos Eduardo. Caro, yes, very nice. Caro, give me answer for question number two. Okay. Who is going to receive the shipping? Uh, Carolina is going to receive the shipping. <laughs> All right, very good. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Uh, Carla Lisette, can you give me the answer for question number three? No, no tengo todavía, teacher. A ver, okay, that's okay. Um, I don't know, maybe Willie or Karen or Stephanie Michelle. Teacher, yo tengo de, de la primera, pero diferente la respuesta. Está bien, regálemela, no hay problema. Okay. I am going to pick up the package at the shoe store. Okay. La pregunta era, where are they going to, verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Okay, you can say I am or they are going to. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Gregoria okay. Xiomara. Thank you, Stephanie. Xiomara? Number three. Where yes. is the new material going to receive? The new material is going to receive on Tuesday. When is the new material going to arrive? The new material is going to arrive on Tuesday. You said Tuesday, Xiomara? Yes. All right. Good. Very good. Yes, Tuesday. Yeah, that's perfect. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else? You can share your answer. Yo sé que han de ser diferentes. Obviamente lo estamos haciendo individual. You can tell me your answers. Maybe Luis or Wilfredo or Yvette, Willy, Karen. You need to oh, no, Yes, Karen. Okay. It is going to arrive in September. Oh, todavía falta. <laughs> it's coming from China, Karen. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, anybody else? Teacher. Yes, Willie. Uh, another answer, number three. Yes. Uh, when is the new mar material going to arrive? Uh -huh. uh, arrive the new material, it's Monday. Ok, pongámoslo en, en como que fuera en oración afirmativa, Willy. Primero ve el sujeto. ¿Cuál sería el sujeto en ese caso? The new material. Ajá, the new material. Luego ve el verbo to be. Ajá. The new material arrive. No, el it's verbo Monday. to be. No, no, no. El verbo to be después del new material. Ah, oh, it's. Ajá. Eh, <coughs> the new material, it's arrive. It's Monday. It's going to arrive. It's going to arrive. On Monday. Monday. On, On Monday. Monday. Yeah. Muy bien. All right. Willy, acuérdese que hay que seguir la estructura y una vez, si usted la sigue, no se va a perder. ¿Verdad? The new material is going to arrive on Monday. Sujeto, to be, going to, el verbo y luego el complemento que en este caso sería on Monday. Muy bien, Willy. Excellent. Anybody else? Maybe Oscar. Oscar no lo había visto, Oscar, pero ya lo veo. Oscar or Stephanie Lisette or I don't know anybody else. Me teacher. Yes, me. Mm -hmm. Who is going to the shipping? Uh, Mario Perry is going to receive. receive. Oh, me come in a palabra. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Who is going to receive? How do you say re re receive? Receive. Está bien. Who's going to receive? Re mm -hmm. To the, receive the shipping, uh, Mario Perez is going to receive the shipping. Le puso el verbo to be mailing. Uh, Mario Perez. Ajá, uh -huh. el verbo to be. Uh, is going to receive Excellent. the shipping. Excellent, muy bien. Si no se lo había puesto, póngaselo, ok? All right, y eso, eso es importante ahí. No es nada más por mailing, sino que es por todos, ¿verdad? No podemos no poner el verbo to be. Ok, se oye raro. Yo no puedo decir Edwin going to come to San Salvador. No, Edwin is going to come to San Salvador. Carolina, Verónica, 
uh, going to the beach. Carolina and, Ver and Veronica are going to go to the beach. Necesito el verbo to be. No lo puedo omitir. All right? Si no está malo. Estructuralmente, gramaticalmente, it's not correct. All right? Okay. Questions. Vamos a trabajar en lo siguiente. Necesito, I'm going to share my screen and I need you to take a picture of it. And then we can go to our groups to work. Deme un segundo. La foto le va a quedar, no, yo creo que la logran ver toda. Ah, casi todos. Wait. Wait, guys, please. Ahí está. Okay, let me share this with you right now. All right, todo esto es con el be going to, okay? Okay, ahora, this, usted van a, la idea es, usted va a leer con su pareja, va a leer la pregunta y usted decide si le falta, por ejemplo, el are, el is o el does, okay? Anote su respuesta en otro lado. Si usted solo pone A, la A o la C o la B, cual sea la respuesta. Y cuando regresemos la vamos a chequear. Ok. Please take a picture y mándenmela al grupo de una vez. Me avisan. Ready? Pueden ver mi pantalla todavía no. Ready yes, teacher. teacher. Excellent. All right, very good. Excellent. Voy a dejar de compartir. Entonces, acuérdense que cuando están en grupos la idea es, es socializar, es leer, es eh, apoyarnos, all right, y luego obviamente pues hacer una unificación de respuesta, a ver cómo nos va. Let me see here guys. Okay. All right. Ya les van a habilitar los grupos. Please go to your groups. Los, uh, yeah. Okay. Hola, Evelyn. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Hola, viene entrando, ¿verdad? Ahorita, sí. Sí, ahorita, no se preocupe. Eh, de hecho, ahorita estamos yéndonos a los grupos. Los compañeros mandaron una imagen al grupo de WhatsApp. Esa es con la que estamos trabajando, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, Evelyn. ¿Le salió la invitación? Ahorita la acepto. Ok.
Perito? Sí, ah, pero... terminamos, pero teníamos la duda si ya estábamos bien en la clase completa. ¿Terminaron? Sí, sí, con Carlos estaban. Ah, vaya, sí, sí no, todavía no, no los había sacado todavía. Los iba a sacar en unos tres minutos. Si gustan, me esperan acá. Ah, vaya. Oh, vaya. No, okay, no, que no, no, revisan. Ok. Ok, si gustan, me esperan por acá, no hay problema. Ok, teacher, por sí, cierto, sí. mi cámara no sirve ahora. Ah, Lo ok, siento. Carlos. No se preocupe, tranquilo. Gracias. Thank you.
All right, guys, we're going to start checking the um, exercise. So I'm just going to share my screen back with you. Number one. All right, uh, let's see. Eh, Carla Lisette, can you read number one on your answer, A, B, or C? What is your brother going to go tomorrow? Yes. B, literal. Yes, very good. What is your brother going to do tomorrow? Very nice. Chavez, can you do number two? Uh, the number two. Uh, let me see the picture. Uh, sería, are, are you going to see the movie? Uh, sería, yes, I am. Okay. Very good. So are you going to see the movie? Yes, I am. Thank you. All right, let's see. Um, Carlos Eduardo, can you do number three? Okay, teacher. My friend is going to have a birthday party next, next, next week. Very good. Yes, my friend is going to have, letter C. <clears throat> my friend is going to have a birthday party next week. Very nice. Uh, let me see here. Stephanie Lisette, can you do number four? And number four, I can see a lot of bright cloth in the sky. I think it's going to bright soon. I think it is going to rain soon. Very good. Thank you. Um, Edwin, can you do number five? Okay, number five. Uh, when when will going to take? No, perdón. When will they going to arrive? I'm not sure. Uh, sería literal B. Literal. B. Ah, seguro. Eh, bueno. Eso, okay. And which, which one we are? Number five. Okay, thank you. Okay. A ver, en ese caso, Edwin, sería when are they going to arrive? Literal C. Okay. All right. Para, no podemos combinar el will y el going to en una misma, ¿verdad? Are, when are they going to arrive? Very good. Xiomara, can you do number six for me? Dice el literal B, I'm not sure. Entonces ahí no está seguro. Y si ¿Sí? no está seguro, siempre podemos utilizar entonces el going to. Porque el Lo... going to se utiliza como sí. Sí, quien no, ha... quien no está seguro es quien contesta. All right, pero quien pregunta sabe que van a llegar, ¿verdad? Ahora, quien contesta dice no, no estoy seguro o no estoy segura. All right, pero usted sabe, por ejemplo, yo le pregunto, when are they going to arrive? Porque yo sé que van a llegar. Ahora, que usted sepa o no sepa, eh, no tiene nada que ver en el uso del going to. All right. Porque quien está haciendo la pregunta está bien. When are they going to arrive? Porque sabemos que van a arribar. En el caso de la persona que contesta, ella sí puede no estar segura, pero no hay ningún problema en el uso del going to. Ok. All right, very good. Next one. Um, Karen, can you do number six? What are you going to do on your summer holiday? Ah, what are you going to do on your summer holiday? All right, very good. Next one, Gabriel, number seven. He, he is your friend going to join. To join us. Sí. Yes, yes. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Is your friend going to join us? Yes, she is. All right. So that would be letter A. Number eight, Evelyn, can you do eight for me, please? Good 
number eight. Ahorita. Eh. Are they going to be her son? Mm -hmm. No, they aren't. Okay, are they going to be here soon? No, they aren't. Very good. All right, yes. let's see. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go with number nine. Willie, can you do number nine, please? What time are you going to live? Mm -hmm. for the airport excellent yeah. what yes thank you what time are you going to leave for the airport very nice nina can you do number 10 okay are you going to home after our english class ah very good are you going to go home after our english class all right very nice carolina can you do number 11 Yes, teacher. Uh, is your friend going to be late? No, she isn't. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie, Michelle, can you do number 12? I think it is. Yes. Uh, is your cousin go to move to another apartment? Uh, going to. All right. Is your cousin going to move mm -hmm. to another apartment? Very good. Thank you. All right, then we have Oscar. Can you do 13, Oscar, please? Oh, thank you, sir. Is the plane going to uh, Lansi East? All right. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yes, it is. Thank you, Oscar. Is the plane going to <laughs> is the plane going to land soon? Yes, it is. Very good. Thank you. All right. Then we have Luis. Can you do number 14, please? Okay, teacher. And I <clears throat> I am going to do my homework after I finish dinner. I am going to do my homework after I finish dinner. Very good. Veronica, 15. Um, what are your plans for next year? Are you going to Canada? Ah, so lo que será la 16. Okay. What are you? That's, no, that's a plan. Termina de hacerla, perdone. La 16. What are your plans for next week? Next year, sorry. Uh -huh. Um... Are you going to go to Canada? Are you going to go to Canada? Very nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, Maylene, can you do 15? Uh, yes. Um, are you going to join, join us? Uh -huh. uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am, right? Are you going to join us? Yes, I am. Very good. All right. A ver, ¿quién se sacó 16 de 16? Excellent, Caro, very nice. The rest of you guys, no los veo con la nota. Very good, sí, sí, Nina. Sí. Excellent. It was easy, right? Yeah? All right, we just need to read and, and, and pay attention to what they are using there. All right, guys, very good. I'm going to take the second attendance y luego seguimos con el manual. All right, just give me one second. Here we have... Carlos Eduardo Artiga de Ríos. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Mármol. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present teacher. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. I'm here, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Present. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez. 
Made in Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Eh, William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present. Teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present. Carla Lisset. Thank you, Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Teacher. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Teacher. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys, let's go back then with our book here. And this is what I want us to work on right now. Yeah, this is, let me just check it. Okay, very good. So here we have this exercise, exercise one, page 17. It says vocabulary practice, find eight words about product features and write them on the lines. All right. So here, uh, just give me a second, guys. Regálenme un segundo. Sorry, guys, thank you. All right, so here you have to find eight words about product features. Puede ser que encuentren weight or um, size or dimensions. Yo sé que es un poquito uh, como un poquito borroso por ahí, pero tratemos de hacer lo mejor posible. And then you write it here on the lines. Okay, so you have to find eight words. Eso lo vamos a hacer individual. Así es que les doy un ratito y ustedes eh, pueden, de hecho, creo, revisen si ustedes pueden como buscar la palabra aquí en mi pantalla alguien puede como como manchar o hacer el delineado para encontrar solo quiero ver si lo pueden hacer ya yeah. hey Stephanie ya vi <laughs> very good thank you Stephanie Michelle All right, entonces van, les doy un ratito y luego en unos dos minutitos, tres minutitos, lo mucho, empezamos a, le empiezo a pedir quien lo haga y empieza ahí a, a hacer la línea de la palabra que encontró. All right, let's work on that right now, guys.
All right. Veo que ya pusieron size for that one. Uh, Maylin, trate de encontrarme cualquier otra, please. And like number two, any? No, sure. teacher, I, I don't, I don't have. All right, that's okay. Edwin, Alberto, can you try? That's okay. Edwin, can you try to do it? Okay, uh, price. Okay, where is it? Trate de, de hacer ahí usted la línea. Carolina, you can do the other one. Yes. Teacher, <coughs> battery, battery life en la parte de abajo, solo que no lo puedo, no puedo marcarlo. Ah, battery life, battery life, aquí está. Ah, este de acá. Teacher, warranty también encontré. A ver. Teacher, yo encontré dimension, pero no puedo no la puede marcar marcarla. No. Ahora, no. Ten, tenme paciencia, que aquí vamos, algo crooked, pero... <laughs> <laughs> battery life, aquí está battery life. ¿Cuál otra me dijeron? Dimension, ¿dónde está Karina? Eh, ta, 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 ta. En la vertical, en la última, de abajo para arriba. Ya lo encontré. Ya. Yeah. Yes. ¿Está aquí? Yes. Claro, me dio cuenta, pero. Teacher, función. Function, ¿dónde está? Ah. Eh, a, arriba de, eh, de Battery Light, la tercera, arriba. ¿Por aquí? Oh, ahí, ahí, sí, ahí. Ah, aquí ya lo vi. Teacher, la que yo le dije, la de Price, está debajo de la que marcó de Size. Ah, voy, voy, ya la veo, permítame. Function. Storage, mm. teacher. Voy, voy. Price. Dije, price, dijeron aquí, ¿verdad? Aquí. Sí, yes. Price, thank you. Nina, ¿cuál me dijo usted? Ya voy, solo termino hasta aquí. Storage. ¿Dónde está Nina? Uh, the, the first uh, column. The first column, ya vi. Okay. Storage, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cuántas llevamos ya? One, two, three, four, five, six. ¿Nos faltan dos? Warranty, teacher. ¿Dónde estaba warranty? Perdón, es que... En la vertical número ocho. Creo que... Es sí. Sí, ya la Ahí. Sí, para... Ay, Dios mío. <risa> Gracias a Dios que no evaluamos si está recto. ¡Ay! Eso. Sé que me está ayudando aquí, pero me movieron. En la lluvia. Warranty. A ver, ¿cuál otra? Ay. Wait. Wait. ¿Dónde está wait? Uh, first, uh, fila. The first line. Ya. Yeah. Acá. Yes, yes, yes. Qué rara esa G, pero sí tiene razón. Ahí dice wait. Horrible, pero esa es... <laughs> Pero mire, está peor mi línea. En mira. serio, yo pensé que esa, esa letra ahí no iba. Yo pensé ya, que era una B. Yo tan, es que yo veo B y que es. Yo, yo también es, es, que es, es letra. Es una B. G. Yo la vi desde el principio también, igual. Yo también, pero pensé que era una B y no encontraba el B por ningún lado. Ok, pero sí. Ahí lo hicieron trampa. Sí, ah, no, 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 no. No. <risa> a ver, entonces tenemos storage, weight, warranty, price, size, dimension, uh -huh, function, battery life. Nos faltó alguna. No, ¿verdad? We mm -hmm. have the eight. No, teacher. Yes. Oh, teacher. Thank you. All right. En teoría, ustedes tendrían que hacerlo más bonito <laughs> y ponerlo aquí. All right. From number one to eight. Okay. So don't mind my scribbly lines. Voy a borrarlas igual. Very nice. Thank you for helping me. Miren que hasta aquí abajo manchamos. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, now here it says, write down three features and three products. 
ask partners to describe them. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Para llenar esto de acá, se van a ir a los grupos. Si yo estoy trabajando con Chávez, Chávez va a escoger tres productos. Ya sea que me los puede enseñar si tiene por ahí, obviamente, un celular o un control remoto, no. su laptop, o si no, usted le dice uh. a su compañero un fax machine o una uh. cámara. All right? No importa el producto. Al final no importa. Lo que yo quiero es que cuando yo le enseño, Chávez me enseñe, por ejemplo, un celular, Vamos a poner ahí cell phone y pensamos en three features. All right, puede ser storage, puede ser capacity, no necesariamente las mismas que ya vimos, pero relacionadas a teléfono. Or memory, all right. Uh, si, me, si me mostró una televisión, eh, what are the features of a TV? Uh, LED, LED screen TV or smart TV, I don't know. So, Chávez me va a mostrar a mí tres productos y yo voy a decirles las features de cada producto. Entonces acá, por ejemplo, vamos a poner um, cell phone. Si usted lo pone aquí, bueno, aquí está el, el product, sería cell phone. La otra, el otro producto podría ser, I don't know, eh, TV. And the other one, yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. And the other one can be laptop or computer, lo que usted quiera. All right, ahora aquí pensamos las features. All right, aquí no, ignoremos esto de acá. Del cell phone pensamos three features, del TV pensamos three features, and the laptop we think three features. Eso es lo que eh, yo llenando lo que Chávez me mostró. Y luego viceversa, luego yo le digo a Chávez, Three other products. Lo importante aquí es no repetir, porque si yo le enseño otro celular, pues casi que son las mismas features. All right, so think of another, like three different products, ¿ok? Para tener diferente producto y diferente, perdón, que estaba con la cámara apagada. Eh, three different products and different features, all right? Entonces, en total, como grupo vamos a tener seis productos, All right, y tres features por cada producto, ¿de acuerdo? Oh. Tenía la mano levantada, no se la había visto, dígame. ¿No? ¿Oscar? ¿Oscar? All right. No, no, no. Ah, oh, okay, no, no. Oscar, that's okay. All right, so let's go, let's go to the groups. Igual en diez minutos regresamos más o menos. Okay, let's go. Seguimos en los mismos groups. Carlos, ¿en qué grupo estaba Carlos Eduardo? Con Verónica. Nueve. Ya, yeah, ok. Vaya, Carlos. Xiomara, ¿le salió la invitación, Xiomara?
Hiya, Stephanie. Vaya, eh, ¿estaba en algún grupo anteriormente, Stephanie? Sí, estaba con Evelyn, con Gabriel. Ah, ok, en, el, en la sala 10, ahorita. Vaya, Stephanie.
All right, Karen, Beatriz, who were you working with, Karen? With Yvette. Okay, oh, perfect, very good. So um, tell me one product, Karen, that she showed you and tell me the features. Okay, she showed me a makeup base. Okay. Color beige. Mm -hmm. uh, price is $20. Okay. And brand is Revlon. Oh, all right. Very good. Thank you. Now, Yvette, can you tell me one product about um, that Karen showed you? Okay. Um, a cell phone. Okay. Price. Um, Seven hundred. Okay. Um. Guarantee. Ah, uh, warranty. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. One year. Um, brand Apple. Ah, okay. Apple. Very good. Or iPhone. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Excellent. Let's see. What about Stephanie Michelle? Who did you work with, Stephanie? Um. The more we know. Who <laughs> worked with Stephanie? With Nina? No. No, no, no. Luis. Luis. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, a ver, Stephanie, tell me one product that Luis showed you and the features. Uh, water lot. Okay. Uh, capacity. Capacity, yes. Okay, eight ounces. Okay. A low price. Okay. And... Solo eso. Okay. <laughs> that's... E glass. E ¿Cómo se dice? Glasses. Glasses. Okay. A graduate. Graduate. Uh huh. Uh, one twenty-five. Okay. E useful use useful life one year. Ah, oh, all right, very good. Thank you. Excellent. Let's see. Uh Luis, can you tell us about one of the products that Stephanie showed you? Teacher, es que ella dijo la que yo la que yo tenía. Ah. Yo creo que... <laughs> All right, that's okay. That's, okay. Yo... that's okay, Luis. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. A ver, let's see. Caro, tell me about who were, who were you working with, Caro? Con Nina y Kenya. Ah, very good. Okay, so tell me, uh, Caro, tell me a product that Nina showed you on the features. Okay. Uh, Nina, talk about their earrings. The warranty is three years, the price is $20, and the weight is one ounce. Ah, oh, one ounce. All right, very good. Nina, tell me about Kenya's products and the features. Okay. Kenya products headphones. Okay. Weight for ounce. Ounces, uh-huh. Yes, price. $26. Okay. And warranty say one year. One year. All right. Very good. Kenya, tell us about one product that Caro showed you on the features. Okay. Carolina, sir, uh, war warranty by, by year. Phrase. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 14, 14,000? Ah, 14,000. Okay. Y, y, three, three thousand libras. Pounds. 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 Oh, oh, pounds. All right. Okay. Very nice. That's okay, that's fine. A ver, um, is Xiomara, aha, Xiomara, who did you work with Xiomara? Xiomara, 
Xiomara, who did you work with? Ah, yo tengo que decir los míos entonces ahorita. O le pregunto a alguien. Xiomara, are you talking to me? Sí, teacher, es que casi no escucho porque acá llueve. Ah, ok, sí. Y de hecho, acá llueve fuerte. Ok. Ah, por eso casi no escucho. Ok, no se preocupe, Xiomara. Entonces, no se preocupe. Vamos a ver con alguien más. All right. A ver, Carlos Mauricio, who did you work with? With Mr. Wilfredo. Ah, ok. Very nice. Ok. So, tell me one product that Wilfredo showed you and the features. It's the, the laptop. Uh huh. Five pounds. Okay. 15 inch for 10 inch. Ah, 10 inches. Okay. Inches. Uh -huh. Yes. Price. It's the, Hundred six dollars. Okay. All right. Very nice. Thank you, Carlos. Wilfredo, tell us one product that Carlos showed you and the features. It's a smart TV. Okay. Uh, Wayne. Twenty pounds. Okay. Dimension forty-three inch price five hundred. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Excellent, Wilfredo. Very good. All right. So remember, guys, when we talk about features, estamos en este caso podemos hablar de price, como ustedes lo hicieron, size. Cuando hablamos de the feature is the size. Ahora, cuánto mide is like more details. Pero cuando hablamos de features, nos, refer nos referimos en este caso, the size, the weight, the warranty, dimensions, capacity. All right, todos esos son features, all right? So, so eh, por lo que ustedes mencionaron, very good. So, we talked about size, we talked about um, weight, hablamos de libras, ¿verdad? O onzas, all right? So, that's the weight, dimensions, and then the special features too. Very good, guys. Okay. So now we are going to work on the last page of unit one. All right, so we have here page 18, exercise three, countable versus uncountable nouns. Write a question to match each answer. All right, usted se tiene que fijar en la respuesta y tiene que hacer la pregunta, okay? Lo vamos a hacer individual. Nos quedamos acá y ya en un ratito voy diciendo quién hace la 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, ¿ok? Todos trabajando en esta página de aquí. Can I stop sharing or do you need me to share my screen? ¿Puedo dejar de compartir? Ustedes lo tienen ahí, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, great, thank you. How much boxes of three do you 
have. I have 15. They have some.
All right, guys, let's try to check number one. I have 50 boxes of thread. What is the question? Anybody? How many, how much boxes do you have? And tell me again, Chavez. Okay, teacher. How much, uh, sorry, how much boxes do you have? Say, are you sure, Chavez, how much? Or how many, how many boxes uh, do you have? Yeah, how many boxes of thread do you have? Yes, porque las cajas las puedo contar. Yes, how okay. many boxes of thread do you have? Or, um, yeah. Very okay. Good. Yes, thank you. I have 50 boxes of thread. Very good. Thank you, Chavez. Um, okay. Number two, they have some floor cleaners. What would be the question? Yes, Luis. Okay, teacher, how much floor cleaner have? How much? How much floor cleaner have? Mm, all right. Mejoremos la ¿Ah? Teacher, yo puse how many floor cleaners do they have? Because okay. I take a like, uh, lejía is one, aromatizante is two, like in, the, right. in that way. I don't know if it, it, it's good, it's yeah, okay. I think it's better if you say how many, how many floor cleaners do you have, all right? Okay, very good, thank you. In este caso diríamos, I have some floor cleaners, okay? Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Number three, he needs two gallons of gas for the lift. Oscar. Okay, teacher. Uh, how many gallons of gasoline do he need okay. for the elevator? For the lift. Okay, how many gallons of gas or gasoline does he need for the lift? Very good. All right, thank you. How many, all right? Very good. Carlos Eduardo, you can do the other one, number four. We want six packs of butter bars. How much butter bars do you want? Okay, we want six packs, very good. How many okay. packs of butter bars do you, do you want? Okay. And number five, who wants to do number five? Anna and Hugo need a lot of water. Someone to help me with the last one? I, my answer is how much water do Anna and Hugo need? Yes, how much water? All right, acuérdese well, que water is uncountable. How much podría ser how many? All right, so how much water do Ana and Hugo need? All right, or um, use or whatever it said, need. All right. Teacher, una pregunta. Allí puede ir they. How much water do they need? Sí, claro que sí, Luis. Yes. Okay. Yes, very nice. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. It's almost, almost time to go here, but I just want to do this one here. Eh, quick. Lee, tenemos en la siguiente ejercicio number four, have to and don't have to, all right? Just so you fill it in, ponga ahí dos actividades that you have to do. Think about the office, no de su casa. Think about the office or your work. Think about two activities that you have to do and, th and two activities that you don't have to do. All right, lo llena y el espacio. Two things you have to and two things you don't have to from your work. Si ya casi vamos terminando, tenemos un minuto. And then I'll take the attendance. Y mañana podemos iniciar revisando las oraciones que acaban de poner. Mañana oficialmente iniciamos unidad 2. Quiere decir que la plataforma tiene que estar al día con la unidad 1. ¿Mm? Yes. ¿Mm? Thank you. 
All right. En lo que ustedes están pensando, sus cuatro oraciones de have to and don't have to, que esas vamos a iniciar mañana revisando. I'm going to take the last attendance. All right. So please listen to your name. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berríos. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Present. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Present. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosa, Present teacher. Thank you. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Present teacher. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Ay, Carla Lizer García Lemos. Present teacher. A Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Very good. Um, Caro, can you stay a little bit today? No se ha quedado, ¿verdad, Caro? No le había dicho, ¿cómo no? La semana pasada. No, no me había quedado, pero it's okay, teacher. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Al resto de ustedes los veo mañana. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Sofi, bájale porque tengo entrevista con la teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. En la tabla le mandé. Ah, a ver si no puede abrir Facebook de ahí. Leas el cuento que le mandé. All right, Caro, how are you? <laughs> Hello, teacher. <laughs> How's everything, Caro? Everything okay? Yeah, it's okay for the moment. All right. Do you have any questions about what we have studied so far or everything is clear? I have a question about how many, how much. That was the day I wasn't in class because yeah. I have the accident. Do you remember? Yes. I yes. know that how many is for countable things. For example, a laptop, a car, a pencil, a Yes. yes, and how much is for uncountable, for example, water, but in the exercise, uh, in the question that it was, how many, yo puse, yo puse how much gallons of gas, because I, I thought that gas was uncountable, but if I am talking about a specific measure, for example, yes. gallons, mm -hmm. it's how many? That's right. It's, right, it's correct. Yes, it is correct, Carolina. Yes. All right. So remember that gas, of course, is not countable, but the, the quantity or the capacity becomes countable. All right. It's just like water. How much water in general? Now, I can say how many liters of water, how many glasses of water, how many bottles of water. And, and if you talk about the container or the capacity, it becomes how many. All right, because okay. you're not really talking about the liquid. You're talking about where, like, where it is stored or how much of that. It's like a liter, a gallon, all right, an ounce, a pound. Okay, uh, if i talking about air, mm -hmm. it's how much and countable. Right. Yes. The pollution, okay, okay, I clear with, with yeah. that. Feelings also, Caro, all right? Feelings are uncountable, all right? Okay. You say to your daughter, I love you very much, but you don't say I love you five or I love you 10. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, I love you right. very much, right? So feelings, they are uncountable. Uncountable, okay, okay. See, that was my question because that class- Yeah, you were not in class that day. 
Y luego ese día también descubríamos, Caro, eh, que fue nuevo para algunos, es por ejemplo cuando hablamos de vegetales o verduras. Eh, ah, sí, esa no me la sabía. Ajá, all right. Entonces cuando hablamos como grupo en general es how much. O sea, es, es no contable. All right, porque sucede que esos grupos están hechos, digamos, de diferentes unidades. Si usted dice vegetales, hablamos de tomates, papas, zanahoria, chile, etc. All right? Entonces no se parecen las unidades. Igual con fruta. Fruta en general, yo le digo, how much fruit do you eat in a week? Y usted me dice, ah, I eat a lot of fruit. Ah, le digo, ah, do you eat bananas? Yes, how many bananas? Bananas ya se vuelve contable. Porque usted me dice, two bananas, okay. four bananas, or five mangoes. Entonces, cuando tenemos como grupo, es how much. Es, es, es no contable. Por ejemplo, ropa en general, ropa. Ahora, ¿cuánta ropa tiene? Mucha. O sea, no me dice uh -huh. ropas. Tengo cinco vestidos, dos blusas, tres faldas. All right. Entonces, okay. clothing, eh, vegetables, vegetable, fruits, uh, furniture, que son los muebles. A furniture. En esa categoría, Caro, cabe también el money, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que el dinero, es ah, el yes. dinero que está hecho de diferentes unidades, de centavos, de 10 centavos, de 5 centavos, de dólar. Uh, all right. Por eso usted cuando pregunta cuánto vale el, te el teléfono, se dice how much, no dice how, how much. much. Uh -huh. Ya yo vengo y le digo $350, all right. Pero esa ya es mi respuesta. Su pregunta siempre va a ser how much is it. Uh -huh. Okay, right. now it's clear. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Don't worry, Caro, that's okay. <laughs> Very good. How many daughters do you have? One? Yes, just one. Okay. One daughter. All right. Okay. It's enough. <laughs> I have three. <laughs> what? Well, I will have one son and two daughters. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. De qué edades? 18, 18, 10 y 8 y medio. ¿Cómo hace? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a, uh, a secret. The, 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 the million, million dollar question. Yes, and I still don't have an answer, Caro. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just have one, one. How old is she? Under nine years. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> there But it's enough. It, uh, it's very absorbed. Yeah, it is. It is. I believe you, Caro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really, first I have uh, 42 years, so I think that I am, gonna, I am not going to have another right. baby. Okay. It's possible you never you never, <laughs> you never know, know, but I I don't want I don't have time I don't have energy I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know, yeah it's very tough. Yes, you, you know it's, it. it's funny because when um, my <clears throat> first son, he was eight years old, and we were trying and trying and nothing. So we believed really? he was only going to be only one. All right. And then I got pregnant after nine years. <laughs> Carol. All right. And after that, a year and a half, the other one, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> I know it's crazy, but they are there. <laughs> yeah. But they are, they are cute. They are pretty. Yeah. Yeah, they, they give us a lot of love. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's that's a little bit of about me, Carol. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Mis respetos <laughs> para los que tienen más de uno. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, thank you. Yeah, very good. And how do you like the class? The class is okay for you? Yeah, we, uh, with Kenya and Nina. Mm -hmm. We was talking about that it's very interesting. Uh, we uh, we understand you a okay. lot of okay. all you okay. say. Uh, you have a great pronunciation. I 
we like the exercise, the interaction. Okay. We were okay. we were talking about uh, oh, nice. about that in in this day in the oh, in the group. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy you like it. Yes. 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 Very really good. like it. All right. Very good. Okay. You go to your daughter. Thank you so much for staying with me tonight. If you have Thank any you, questions, teacher. let me know. Okay, Caro. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Have a good night. See you, you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye now.